ISO 42001 is the world's first AI certification. And today we're gonna to do this course and tell you everything that you need to know to get ISO 42001 certified. My name is Christian Hyatt. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Risk 360. Um, the reason I'm doing this course, number one, is I just love to teach. I love to, to try to share some of the knowledge that I have with the world. Um, at Risk 360, we're probably one of the most experienced implementers of ISO frameworks. We've done thousands of engagements on frameworks like ISO 27001, 27701, 9001, you name it, a lot of different ISO certifications. So I hope that we can take some of those lessons that we've learned, applying them to other ISO frameworks and share them with you as you pursue your ISO 42001 journey. Um, in, in way of learning objectives, there's a couple of things that I hope to accomplish today in this course. Uh, number one, I hope that we can help you understand the business case behind getting ISO 42001 certified. Help explain to executives at your company, why would they be willing to spend the time, the money, and the resources to pursuing certification at all? What's in it for the company? The second thing that I hope that we can cover off is I want to help you speak intelligently to ISO 42001. And that includes things like having a solid foundation of the ISO 42001 framework overview, be able to speak to the management system, the different controls in the framework, and some of the core principles. Second, uh, I hope that you can speak to the implementation process. There's a four-step implementation process if you want to implement this certification program at your organization. And I want you to be able to articulate that back to your team and also think through if it's something that makes sense for you. Third, I want you to do the same when it comes to the three-step certification process. Once you've implemented the program, what does it take to get certified? And I want you to be able to play back, that back to your team and have a really good understanding of that. And the last thing I hope that you get out of the course today is understanding the real world applicability of the framework. So let's take the abstract framework concepts and apply them to a real company so you would know what it looks like uh, in the day to day world. And that's what we'll get out of this course. I'm really excited to do this course with you. I really appreciate you giving me some of your time and energy and focus to get through this course. And I hope it adds a lot of value and clarity for you. So I'm looking forward to it and I'll see you in the first part of this course. Thank mm -hmm. you.